Now when we installed this table here in 1982, we gave it a little bit of an upgrade being an electric motor and you guys should be thankful for that. That way I don't have to ask for volunteers out of the crowd today. Just a little bit too hot to be turning this around by hand. But whether we're turning it around by hand or with our electric motor, we still have to have our locomotive balance just right over that six foot bearing. And there's the drop letting us know we are now balanced. Welcome to pulling our train today is the NC and St. L710 built for the Nashville Chattanooga and St. Louis Railway in 1950 by the Electro Motor Division of General Motors, better known as EMD. NC and St. L until eventually they merged with their parent company, the Louisville and Nashville Railway. Going to come to service on the LM and eventually see service on Amtrak. Now, not pulling passenger trains, but actually pulling maintenance of way trains where they would take train crews out or uh, track crews out and work on the tracks and get up, up back and into service. Now we have would actually purchase this locomotive from a scrapyard in the early 2000s and bring it here to Chattanooga and put it back in its original 1950s paint scheme. Now this locomotive is what we would call a GP7 model locomotive. GP meaning general purpose. This was the first uh, mass produced locomotive that was designed for different types of railroading, whether it's switching uh, freight and passenger cars, built for passenger service, or like 710 being built for freight service. The motive, the reason it's called diesel electric, now there is a 16 cylinder diesel motor in the long hood of that locomotive, and that diesel motor does two things. One, it spins an air compressor located at the very back of the engine, and that allows us to make compressed air for the brakes on the locomotive as well as our passenger cars. It also turns an electrical generator that makes electricity, not only for the headlights and the radios, but also it sends an electric current down to what we call traction motors. There's a traction motor on each axle of this locomotive. And those electric motors is what turns wheels and gives us our traction power, giving us the term diesel electric. And this is a technology that dates back all the way to the 1930s and in being used in today's modern locomotives as well.